For all the Model 3 Highland fans out there, we finally got some pretty good news because there's actually a bunch of Model 3s, I guess a small fleet of them, being at the Fremont factory, which is a big deal because that's like one of the big Tesla production plants in North America. Now, you've probably ever seen a lot of videos and a lot of news about how shipments of the Model 3 Highland is going from the Shanghai Gig Factory into a cargo ship and then going all around the world to Europe. And there's also a small shipment going to like Singapore. There's also a small shipment going to Australia. So that's some pretty amazing news, right? We're getting Teslas everywhere except in North America. That's what it feels like. But now we're already getting images like this one of a small fleet of Model 3 Highlands. Now we don't really know where these cars are built, but what I'm guessing is probably in China and they just shipped it over. That's usually what it is. In fact, most of the Model 3 Highlands that were leaked in a lot of the California videos all had Chinese letters which indicate that it was built in the Shanghai Giga Factory, not in Fremont, not in Giga, Texas. There's already a lot of speculations about when the new Model 3 will be coming to the United States. And my guess is probably deliveries around March 2024. But you should be able to start getting pre-orders and start seeing announcements late January this month. There's also a lot of permits from the Fremont Factory of the past year and a half. That gave us a lot of clues about which plant it's going to. Tesla is already preparing production lines in the Fremont factory for the introduction of the Model 3, according to some of these permit filings. But of course, it started in China first, but we should be getting the Fremont factory cranking up production and start pumping out these Model 3 Highlands because this is the car that everyone wants. It's upgraded pretty well. You got new sensors, and if you look at the dual motor long range, it goes up to 423 miles which is absolutely incredible. The overall Tesla exterior is a lot lighter. The interior is about the same as the old Model 3, but slightly more refreshed. And the exterior is what everyone likes, a beautiful facelift. The rear is also slightly different. And the overall body of the Model 3 Highlands is a lot sharper. It's no longer looking like a toy. They even changed up the tires as well because it used to look very cartoonish. And now it looks a lot more serious and it looks pretty good. There's already a small fleet of six Model 3 Highland vehicles outside the Fremont factory. We may be seeing Tesla finally crank these out. But then again though, these vehicles may be given to the EPA for testing and have them recertified before they can be given to customers. That's another big issue here. Because if you want to sell these vehicles, you gotta have like the US government official to look at it, test it, make sure everything's good before you start producing these cars and send them out. In the process, doesn't really take that long. In the past, Tesla received approvals from the certifications and the EPA from less than a month, which is pretty incredibly quick. So this pretty much adds in the time perfectly, right? Now the vehicle's into the EPA, takes a month to get back. We should be seeing orders starting in North America about January and then deliveries in March, which is absolutely perfect. And plus, they've been already revamping and renovating the Fremont Gigafactory for a very long time. So for all the guys out there who think that Fremont has not gotten any sort of renovations, you're wrong. There's massive renovations already in Fremont just for the upcoming Tesla Model 3 Highland. So be a little bit patient. Don't be too feisty with the Model 3 Highland. Tesla's working overtime at this point. They're still preparing several gigafactories. They have a lot on their plate. They got like the Giga Texas, right? They got expansion, the Fremont factory. They got Giga Berlin to worry about, just recently opened up. Then you got Giga Shanghai's expansion for the Model 2, and also potential Giga India, which is some of the biggest factories I've ever seen. So we're going to be seeing more news coming from Tesla, and like I said, 2024 will be an enormous year for Tesla. They got bots, they got autopilot, they got lawsuits, they got factories, all waiting for them. And it's going to be a really exciting year. So comment below, subscribe for more Tesla news, guys.